Welcome to UAS Magazine's Top Headlines. I'm your host, Jill Nelson. Aurora Flight Sciences, a Boeing company, last week announced plans to fly its autonomous, solar-powered UAS for the first time in the spring of 2019. The high-altitude, ultra-long endurance, Odysseus, is designed to fly for indefinite periods of time in the stratosphere to collect data for climate and weather researchers. It's also capable of communications, connectivity, and intelligence missions. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security and Sandia National Labs are studying ways to make the visual detection of drones more precise and reliable by combining cameras with machine learning technology. Because noise can mask a drone's acoustic signature in urban areas, and electronic signals might not be detectable from drones flying autonomously, DHS is exploring whether temporal frequency analysis can be used to reliably identify a drone visually. Peel and stick electronics are on the verge of being used in UAS applications ranging from monitoring a drone pilot's stress levels to flight controls to powerful miniaturized antennas. NextFlex, a public-private partnership formed in 2015 to advance the manufacturing of flexible hybrid electronics, is working with the Department of Defense and companies such as Lockheed Martin to develop the technology for military and civilian uses that include the UAS industry. At last, somebody's doing something about the weather. Custom Weather and True Weather Solutions have formed a partnership to provide high-resolution weather forecasts to meet the specialized needs of UAS operators. The company will test their ability to provide micro-forecasts in New York's UAS Traffic Management Corridor by working with the New Air Alliance. Such forecasts are considered an essential element of beyond visual line-of-sight drone operations. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.